We are hiking up a mountain on a little spit of land in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. It is straight up, all the way up. We're gonna go check out the lighthouse. The struggle is real. My name's Robert Field, and I ditched the corporate grind to pursue my passions for fishing and travel. Come up! Nice! This time, I'm on a month-long expedition across Australia and New Zealand with the boys from Fish Village. Hooked up, hooked up, hooked up, hooked up. You're watching Field Trips Down Under. Nice work, bro. Yeah. Look, at yeah. Look at this! All right, so there's one island here on the Mokes that you can actually get off on. There is a uh, little beach, and there's a lighthouse up at the top of this island, top of this kind of mountain, if you will. And there's a little path to get up there. Dude, check that out. That's rad. Oh, Anticlimactic. Anti yep. Get the next one. We are hiking up a mountain on a little spit of land in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. It is straight up, all the way up. We're gonna go check out the lighthouse. But it's literally straight up. Good news, I, I drank a lot of vodka last night. <laughs> the struggle is real. <laughs> I'm so, just, uh, just admiring, 80% dead. Admiring the grass. <laughs> New Zealand grass, baby. That, for you at home, is a long way up. But the view is very much worth it. All right. Send the tram down. I'm ready for a ride. Oh my god. This is Robert Field signing off. This will be the last episode of Field Trips. Because I'm dying. I think I'm literally dying, bro. Straight up. I've done quite a bit of hiking in my day, but never just straight up for this long. Go to the lighthouse, they said. Just a nice little trail up. This is not how it was described to me. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Please wait for this quick commercial break while Rob recovers from the brink of death. Phew. Yippa! <laughs> oh yeah. I'm motivated. Oh yeah. Where? Oh yeah. The lighthouse is getting bigger. The lighthouse at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Good lord. Shipwrecked. Look at that. And after all that, it's locked. Is cool though. Yeah, I guess if you're trying to see, you just kick the door in at that point, break a window. <laughs> so that is Great Barrier Island, where we spent the first half of this week. Didn't live that far from here. Now that is what you call a view. Ladies and gentlemen, we are out here. Breathtaking views, wow. This ain't the middle of nowhere. This is the end of nowhere. There's all these silly proverbs about how the view from up top is worth the climb, but in this case, it's never been more true.
Now this is living. Whew. All right, and it is time to say goodbye to the Moko Hinao Islands. This place is nothing short of life-changing. Got about a four-hour ride back to uh, the mainland. I'm not happy about it. Tag a mate that still couldn't catch a fish. This is what this is like right now. Look at this. Uh, this one's a, a, a shaman diver. Nice one, Paul. One cast, one big fish. Get some, boy. Come on, Nick. You can do it, bro. Yeah, come Nick. On, Nick, come minute. Come oh. Here we go. Yeah, boy. Oh, back home. As we say goodbye to the Mokes and depart for the mainland, there's a common theme among the conversations. This place, these people, these experiences are truly what life is all about. We've all got bills to pay and most jobs give out two measly weeks of vacation a year. Society is always telling us to be responsible, to do the safe thing and stay home. Work overtime and throw a little extra cash in the savings account. But in the end, these are the moments that will stick with us for the rest of our lives. These are the experiences that shape who we are, who we'll become. What can possibly be more valuable than that? At Fish Village, we're trying to bring this type of experience to more people through life-changing fishing trips. And where most trip providers only talk about how big their fish are, we recognized a long time ago that fish simply don't change lives. Many years from now, when I'm bouncing my grandkids on my knee, I won't tell them how strong that yellowtail fought or how many snapper I boated on soft plastics. I'll tell them about Mike's face when he tried to act like he enjoyed that sea urchin. I'll tell them about Ivy getting stranded on that beach in Australia and the resulting jellyfish attack. I'll tell them about hand-feeding sharks and dive-bombing gannets. I'll tell them about eating kangabangas and Doritos fried flathead. I'll tell them about Skipper Aaron and the bounty hunter's toilet flushing on Paul's kayak. I'll tell them about Grant Ashwell, a 69-year-old man with terminal cancer who has landed more marlin from a kayak than anyone I've ever heard of. I'll tell them about standing atop a mountain, under a lighthouse, staring out at the legendary Mokohinau Islands. New Zealand has been a life-changing trip for all of us at Fish Village, and after spending a week out here, we are convinced that this place needs to be on the menu. Mark this moment in time. <laughs> My life just changed. <laughs> you can learn more about the fishing trips we offer at fishvillage.com. All right, well, it is bittersweet. Bounty Hunter has been our home for the last seven days, but it is time to say goodbye. We are back at the dock, unloading a ridiculous amount of gear. And tomorrow, we fly back home to the States. Honestly, not looking forward to it. What a trip. Hey, what's yours? Mine's up. Uh, all, yours, all yours is up? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> See, we spent all this time and money out on the boat. They're slaying them right here at the dock. Are you out of here? I'm only putting it on the mooring. I'll come in. I'll follow you guys up because I got all the gear. You swimming? Yeah, man. No, I got the thingy out on the mooring. Hi, right, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Howdy. I got two. Oh, ah! <laughs> got him. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was awesome, man. It was awesome. I tapped that. Green pleasure, sir. Yeah. Well, man, just remember, I mean, you're on it. If you guys are ever looking for somebody to stay in man, man, I got a few beers. Yeah. That's awesome, dude. I tapped that. Special thanks to Grant Montague for supplying the Viking kayaks and being one hell of a storyteller. To Stephen Tapp for sharing his insane wealth of knowledge about fish behavior and showing us the ropes. 
to Paul Roundtree for helping us newbies get a little more comfortable around the wash rocks. To Aaron Kovacic for being the best skipper I've ever had. And yes, this guy can drive that boat backwards while sitting on the windshield. To Martin Gittens for handling all the logistics and inviting us to get a taste of his home waters. Oh, and for making my mom feel special. Hey Brenda, watch this. To Ivy Harris for being a big tough unit on the outside, but as soft and cuddly as a kangaroo's pouch on the inside. To Nick Gadwa for being the gear guru and always doing what he can to make sure everyone has what they need. Oh, yeah. To Mike Ponce for making all of this happen and inviting me along on the trip of a lifetime. And a very special thanks to you for following along with the journey and watching to the very end. None of this will be possible without every single one of you, and I cannot begin to express just how much it means to me. For now, it's on to the next adventure. <laughs>